Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Sometimes businesses want to vary an item's price when selling the item to different customer types. For instance, you may charge different rates to residential customers versus commercial customers. You can associate price levels with specific customers so that each time you create a sales form for that customer, QuickBooks will use the appropriate price level when calculating rates and amounts for line items within sales forms for the selected customer. You can also associate price levels with specific line items in a sales form if desired. Using this method, you are only discounting specific items in a sales form, not all items for a specific customer or type of customer. Price levels make it easy to use different line item rates within sales forms without having to calculate percentage amounts manually. Price levels can affect amounts for service, inventory, and non-inventory part items only. Also note that price levels are, however, only a feature of QuickBooks Pro or QuickBooks Premier. In QuickBooks Pro, you can only set price level discounts as a flat percentage. If using the QuickBooks Premier version, however, you can set price levels for various quantities of individual items if preferred. In this lesson, we will examine how to create basic price levels in QuickBooks Pro. To access and create price levels, you need to open the price level list. You can do this by selecting Lists and then choosing the Price Level List command from the menu bar to open the Price Level List window. To create a new price level, click the Price Level button in the lower left corner of the Price Level list and select the New command from the pop-up menu to open the New Price Level window where you enter the price level's information. Enter a name for the new price level into the Price Level Name text box. Use the drop-down to the right of the label that says This Price Level Will to choose either Decrease or Increase. Then enter the percentage by which to increase or decrease item prices into the field to the right of the label. You can use the Round Up to Nearest drop-down to select how to round the pricing that is calculated. After setting the price level, click the OK button to add it into the price level list. You can select an entry made within the price level list and then click the price level button in the lower left corner to edit or delete your entries by selecting the desired command from the pop-up menu that appears. After creating the price levels, you can either assign them to specific customers in order to apply a selected price level to all future sales for that customer by default, or you can manually apply price levels to specific line items and sales forms as the need arises. You can apply a default price level to any customer when using either the Edit Customer or New Customer windows. In either window, select the Payment Settings tab and then use the Price Level drop-down to select a default price level to associate with the selected customer's sales. Then click the OK button to set the price level for the customer. When you later create a sales form for this customer, and you select the line items within the line items area of the sales form, that customer's price level will be automatically calculated and applied. Now also notice that after you have created price levels, you can use the Rate drop-down that appears within the Rate column in the line item area in your sales forms to select a price level on a per line item basis if needed. This allows you to manually set a pricing level for selected items in a sales form. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.